Welcome to the I.O. Backup Tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about encryption. I.O. Backup offers seven different types of encryption and allows you to make a backup of your encryption key. But what does all this really mean? Encryption, as defined on Wikipedia, is the process of transforming information using an algorithm to make it unreadable to anyone except those possessing special knowledge, known as a key. The result of this process is encrypted information. The word encryption also refers to the reverse process, known as decryption. Again, you may be asking, what does all this mean? Let's pretend we need to encrypt the word skyscraper. A really easy way to do this would be to substitute each letter with a different letter. Let's replace each letter with the letter that comes after it. So we would replace the S with a T, the K with L, the Y with Z, and so on. The resulting word would look like this. It is now encrypted. It doesn't look anything like the word skyscraper. It looks like a jumble of letters. In order to decrypt it, you'd have to know the algorithm, in this case letter replacement, and the key, which was replacing the current letter with the one after it. This is the same thing that happens when you encrypt files. It substitutes all the information in a file based on an algorithm and a key. So a simple text file, encrypted using the AES-256 algorithm, would look something like this. To decrypt it back to a text file, you'd have to know that it is using AES-256 encryption, and you'd have to know the key as well. There are many different ways to handle encryption keys. Some popular services will keep the key on your computer as well as on the server. This is not bad, but it's not a secure way of storing information. It provides fast access to the files and an encrypted connection. But your files aren't secure once they're on the server because the administrators of that server have the key. With IO Backup, the key is only on your computer, so the files are stored in their encrypted state. If I could get to your backed up files, I would still have no way of decrypting them because I don't know the algorithm and I don't have the key. The benefit of this is that your files are as secure as they can possibly be. The downside is that if your computer dies and you lose your key, you have no way of decrypting those files. This is why it is very important for you to save a copy of your encryption key. IO Backup provides two ways of keeping a backup of your key. You can save two files which together contain the key, or you can print the key on your printer. We highly recommend that you do both, and that you secure the files and the printed key. A good way of doing this would be to put the files on a flash drive and put both it and the printed key in a safe. Okay, so we have talked about what encryption is and how IO Backup handles the key, but we haven't talked about the algorithms that IO Backup provides for the encryption. When installing IO Backup, you have the choice of seven different algorithms. The first three are DES, which stands for Data Encryption Standard. DES is the original federal standard encryption, dating back to 1976. It uses a 56-bit key, which provides fast encryption, but is the least secure by today's standards. Version 2 is basically a double layer of encryption, while triple DES is a triple layer. If the majority of your data is family photos and files that don't contain sensitive data, DES is a great choice. AES, or Advanced Encryption Standard, became the new federal standard in 2002. IO Backup provides 128-bit, 192-bit, and 256-bit versions of AES. The National Security Agency has deemed AES-256 sufficient for encrypting top-secret government and military data. While it is theoretically possible to break the AES encryption, it has been calculated that it would take millions, if not billions of years to do so. If you want to secure personal information and sensitive data, AES is a great choice. The most advanced algorithm provided by IO Backup is called Blowfish. It was developed in the early 90s as a replacement to DES, though AES typically gets more attention as it is the government standard. IO Backup provides a 448-bit version of Blowfish. 
To date, no effective way of breaking Blowfish has been found. If you had to back up ultra-sensitive files, Blowfish is a great choice. A couple other notes on selecting an algorithm. A longer key provides better security, but also increases the time of the encryption and decryption. You'll want to consider what kind of data you will be backing up and how secure you would like it to be. All data encrypted and backed up through IO Backup is housed in secure Tier 4 data centers, so the likelihood that your data would ever be compromised in the first place is minimal. Data encryption provides a second level of security for your files, and limiting the key to your computer is yet another level of protection. As you have probably realized by now, IO Backup provides some of the best security for remote data backups in the business. Once your data is backed up through IO Backup, you'll never have to worry about it being compromised. We hope that you have gained a better understanding of encryption while watching this video. For those of you who are still a bit confused about which algorithm to use, we would recommend AES-256. It is considered the modern standard and is required for many industry compliance certifications. By default, IO Backup Express is set to AES-256. IO Backup Professional and Enterprise Editions allow you to select any of the seven algorithms and change them at any time through the administrator panel. Remember, make sure to save a copy of your IO Backup encryption key. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information on IO Backup, please visit skyscraperdatasolutions.com.